Artemis II is arguably the most important national spaceflight endeavor for the United States in the coming year. After a series of delays, NASA has finally made significant progress toward making the mission a reality. However, obstacles remain. NASA's vehicles face significant challenges that could impact the schedule. What exactly are these issues? Furthermore, it's impossible to discuss Artemis without acknowledging SpaceX, an entity that plays a critical role in the program's success. Amid the uncertainty surrounding the space launch system, is SpaceX ready to take on greater responsibility if needed? Let's dive deeper in today's NR Studio episode. As we enter April, we find ourselves just over a year away from the highly anticipated Artemis II mission. It will mark a momentous occasion, the first human journey to lunar orbit since Apollo 17 in 1972, as well as the first crewed expedition under the Artemis program. Given the urgent nature of NASA's lunar aspirations, there is little tolerance for setbacks. In order to meet the established timeline, the agency must accelerate the completion and integration of mission hardware without delay. Questions have been raised about NASA's ability to meet this timetable. However, the agency recently made significant progress, arguably marking the most substantial milestone in preparations for Artemis II to date. Since mid-March, NASA has been providing continuous updates on the SLS core stage, the rocket's critical element. That milestone occurred on March 23rd, when a massive crane lifted the core stage, which was carefully aligned and integrated with two solid rocket boosters, all under the expert supervision of technicians inside the Vehicle Assembly Building at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The milestone marked the official completion of the basic assembly of the SLS rocket. In recognition of this achievement, NASA described it as a significant milestone. The collaborative efforts of NASA's ground system teams have culminated in the integration of the Artemis II core stage at NASA Kennedy. The SLS core stage will play a critical role in transporting four astronauts to NASA's Orion spacecraft on their lunar expedition. Images and videos shared by NASA illustrate the meticulous nature of the assembly process, highlighting the significance of this achievement. This milestone comes after a series of rapid hardware upgrades. In February, NASA skillfully assembled all 10 solid rocket booster segments, each consisting of five individual segments. Soon after, the Orion spacecraft's critical systems, including solar panels and a fairing for the spacecraft's adapter, were successfully installed. In the coming phases, key advances include the integration of the cone with the core stage, the docking of the second stage, the assembly of the Orion spacecraft with additional modules, and the conduct of interim cryogenic tests. However, the most significant accomplishment to date has been the seamless integration of the SLS core stage with the solid rocket boosters. Reaching a height of 65 meters, the core stage serves as the structural backbone of the rocket, equipped with two solid rocket boosters, each measuring five meters, that collectively produce the primary thrust necessary for liftoff. More importantly, this progress conclusively demonstrates that NASA is moving forward with SLS for Artemis II, despite ongoing speculation about the rocket's potential exclusion from the program. Today, the Space Launch System continues to play a critical role in NASA's lunar aspirations. Despite NASA's recent progress, significant obstacles remain, most notably related to the Orion spacecraft and the continued viability of the SLS program. A significant concern relates to Orion's heat shield. NASA is currently weighing two challenging options. Stick with the existing heat shield design, which carries known risks but could facilitate adherence to the mission schedule, or pursue the development of a new and improved system that would likely result in additional delays. The heat shield issues have been under investigation since the Artemis mission, with NASA completing its analysis late last year. However, the agency has chosen to keep the underlying causes of the problems secret, further compounding the ambiguity. Beyond the heat shield, Orion has a significant amount of progress to make before it can fully integrate with the SLS. Before it arrives at the Vehicle Assembly Building for stacking, the vehicle must first complete the process of fueling and installing the launch abort system, LS, a task that took eight months during the Artemis I mission. As April approaches, it is still uncertain whether any progress has been made on that work. If the process has only just begun, it would mean that the Orion spacecraft would not be integrated with the SLS until at least December. With only months left for crucial pre-launch testing, the schedule is undeniably constrained especially when factoring in potential setbacks. 
Compounding these challenges is the widespread uncertainty surrounding the SLS program. The rocket has been plagued by high costs, a protracted production schedule, and concerns about hardware quality, prompting widespread speculation about its potential cancellation, especially as NASA transitions to a new administration. The financial implications of SLS are enormous. NASA has invested more than $10 billion in the development of the Artemis Worst rocket, with billions more earmarked for launch systems, contractor compensation, and mission operations. Given the expanded parameters of Artemis II, it is unlikely that we will see a reduction in costs. This raises concerns about the long-term viability of the program, especially as NASA moves to more economically efficient commercial options, such as SpaceX's Starship. When it comes to hardware reliability, significant challenges remain. A prime example is the Exploration Upper Stage, EUS, engineered by Boeing for the upcoming SLS Block 1B mission. Despite its significance, the EUS has experienced numerous delays and technical challenges, underscoring widespread concerns about Boeing's ability to deliver high-quality components on time. These ongoing challenges have raised concerns about the future of SLS, especially given its already delayed schedule. Given these setbacks, speculation about SLS cancellation has grown more pronounced. Many insiders have pointed out that the odds of NASA retiring the rocket are significantly higher than the odds of its continued use. If SLS is ultimately retired, it stands to reason that Orion would also be at risk, given the many technical challenges and cost concerns. As a result, while recent developments in Artemis II hardware may indicate progress, they hardly offset the increasing uncertainty surrounding SLS. On the contrary, this development may serve to confirm that Artemis II will move forward on schedule, but it could mark the final mission for SLS and Orion. Will Artemis II mark our last chance to see the SLS and Orion systems in action? We invite you to share your thoughts by responding with a yes or no in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's incredible progress in spaceflight. Given the importance of a program that aims to re-establish a human presence on the moon, it is imperative to adopt a more efficient, cost-effective, and rapid approach. This is the context in which Starship, and specifically the Starship Human Landing System, becomes relevant. Starting with Artemis III, Starship is poised to take on a significant role in NASA's lunar aspirations, which could mark a pivotal moment for the Artemis Initiative. Unlike the exorbitant costs associated with the Space Launch System, Starship's fully reusable architecture represents the future of space exploration, offering a much lower cost. The principle of reusability facilitates an extraordinary frequency of launches, as evidenced by SpaceX's remarkable ability to achieve a turnaround time of just 37 days between launches. As progress continues, this time frame is anticipated to shrink even further, transforming rapid deployment capabilities. Furthermore, Starship's incredible payload capacity significantly outstrips other launch systems, allowing it to carry crew and cargo in numbers unmatched by conventional rockets. This will be critical to maintaining a sustainable lunar presence over the long term, especially as international competitors, such as China, accelerate their own lunar initiatives. The versatility of Starship further solidifies its argument. It can be reimagined for use as lunar bases or habitats, thereby diminishing the necessity for intricate understanding in construction and infrastructure development. Notwithstanding its promising capabilities, Starship's Odyssey has encountered numerous obstacles, and it persists in grappling with substantial challenges as it braces for its inaugural lunar landing. Although its advancement has been noteworthy in contrast to the languid progression of NASA's SLS, significant goals remain unachieved. SpaceX has accomplished remarkable milestones, notably the successful capture of a super-heavy booster utilizing the Mechazilla arms, along with the demonstration of precise landings for both stages, an achievement unparalleled by any other space agency. Nevertheless, as Artemis III's anticipated launch approaches in a mere two years, several pivotal milestones remain to be achieved. A significant challenge lies in the landing capabilities of Starship, especially regarding the secure retrieval of the upper stage utilizing the Mechazilla system. SpaceX has achieved remarkable advancements with the Super Heavy rocket. However, perfecting the landing of the Starship presents an even more formidable challenge. While the moon landings are expected to employ an adapted Starship fitted with landing legs instead of depending on Mechazilla, successfully mastering terrestrial landings 
is an essential prerequisite for instilling confidence in the vehicle's overall reliability. Equally crucial is the advancement of the Starship's orbital refueling system, a technology indispensable for deep space endeavors, such as missions to the Moon and Mars. The development of a dependable refueling infrastructure necessitates comprehensive preparation, encompassing the construction of essential support vehicles, the refinement of docking maneuvers, and the execution of numerous test flights. To date, SpaceX has yet to exhibit substantial advancements in this domain, prompting apprehensions regarding the timely readiness of a fully operational system for Artemis III. Another significant uncertainty pertains to the condition of the HLS prototype itself. SpaceX has not yet revealed a full-scale prototype nor conducted any public demonstrations, thereby introducing uncertainty regarding the system's capability to undergo the stringent testing necessary for an official lunar landing. The success of Artemis III is contingent upon the comprehensive testing and validation of the Starship HLS in advance, as the mission cannot tolerate any significant failures. Compounding these apprehensions are the lingering dilemmas associated with Starship's second stage. The most recent twin test flights, which showcased the new V2 variant of the craft, encountered failures at nearly identical stages of their ascent, inciting doubts regarding the reliability of the implemented enhancements. For Starship to advance to the Artemis III order, SpaceX must first conduct a fully successful flight, demonstrating the feasibility of these modifications and the system's readiness to meet more complex challenges. While Starship stands as the most promising contender for NASA's long-term lunar strategy, its trajectory to success is fraught with uncertainty. SpaceX must quickly overcome these technical hurdles, demonstrate critical capabilities, and ensure that Starship HLS is fully ready for flight. As the countdown to Artemis III accelerates, the urgency to deliver results quickly and effectively increases. Vehicles associated with the Artemis program continue to face substantial obstacles. While SLS and Orion continue to make steady progress, their long-term sustainability appears increasingly precarious. As the Artemis program advances into its most critical phase, the fate of these complex and high-risk systems will soon be determined. In the meantime, Starship, despite its own challenges, stands as a symbol of promise. Its rapid progress, incredible versatility, and unmatched payload capacity make it a transformative force in lunar exploration. If SpaceX can overcome critical technical challenges, Starship could once again emerge as NASA's most significant asset in realizing its aspirations for deep space exploration. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode, and thank you for your support.